Hi, Matt from Invarian here, and welcome to the tutorial on using the keyboard shortcuts in Rapid Plan. Keyboard shortcuts can be a great way to increase your efficiency when creating traffic control plans. To find a list of the most common shortcuts, navigate to the Help section in the toolbar. For this tutorial, we will cover the most useful shortcuts for your traffic control planning. The first shortcuts I will cover are simple Canvas navigation shortcuts. Here, I have opened an existing plan I was working on. To pan across your map without using the scroll bars, simply hold down the space bar on your keyboard. You'll notice that the cursor changes to a grabbing hand. Keeping the space bar held down, this now enables you to left click and pan around the plan with ease. Further to that, here's another handy tip. When holding down the spacebar, if you have a mouse wheel on your mouse, you can use this to zoom in and out. Just place the cursor on the area you want to zoom into, and it will zoom directly to that area, as you can see here. Using these two simple shortcuts together will ensure you can navigate your plan with ease. The next set of shortcuts involves selecting tools and objects. Rather than having to navigate to the tools palette and selecting each tool you wish to use, there is a default keyboard shortcut to activate each tool. For example, the road tool can be accessed by pressing Alt-R. The delineator tool can be activated by pressing Alt-D. And most other tools can be accessed by holding the Alt key and using the first letter of the corresponding tool. Selecting objects can also be made easier with shortcuts. For example, I have these three separate sign objects on the canvas. To group these signs, I can hold down the Shift key and select each one. Once they're all selected, you can also group them by pressing Ctrl plus G. Now that they're one grouped item, if I'm wanting to ungroup the signs again, simply just press Ctrl plus U. There's also some functionality shortcuts in Rapid Plan that will help you save some time. If you have just started creating a plan and have forgotten to enter information in the plan details, Simply just hit F2 on your keyboard to open your plan properties for editing again. Whilst drawing any objects along a line, or for example, drawing a set of delineators along a work zone, you'll notice that the snapping tool activates to allow for precise drawing. You can enable or disable this at any time by hitting the F3 button on your keyboard, as you can see here. When editing a plan, rather than clicking undo when you make a mistake, simply just hit Ctrl plus Z on your keyboard to reverse the last operation. To do the opposite of this and redo an operation, just hit Ctrl plus Y. To save your plan, click Ctrl plus S on your keyboard and the saving dialog will display. Once your plan has been saved once, using this same shortcut will just overwrite the existing plan in the future. To quickly turn the map on and off while editing your plan, hit Ctrl plus M on your keyboard. This is super helpful when needing to see how the plan looks without the mapping on. Ctrl plus P will open up the print dialog to print your plan and pressing F5 will display the current printing options for your plan. These shortcuts I've just covered are all set as defaults in the software. They can be customized by opening the keyboard shortcuts in Preferences. As you can see, most of the common tools in Rapid Plan will have their own keyboard shortcut. There are also a number of tools with short, without shortcuts that you can set your own defined keyboard or mouse shortcut for them. 
or you can change an existing shortcut to your own preference. For example, the arrow tool. I can set a shortcut by selecting the tool and clicking new shortcut. Press the key or mouse combination you want to assign and it will be assigned as a new shortcut. For this arrow tool, I will set it as Alt plus A. Clicking this button here will reset all of your custom shortcuts back to their default settings. Now I can come back to my plan and utilize the new shortcut straight away. So let's press Alt plus A and it will now allow me to use the arrow tool instantly on the plan. As we have shown you just through some of the benefits of the shortcuts, we recommend taking some time to learn them in rapid plan and adjusting any to suit your preferences. You'll be amazed at what these little time savings will do for your productivity. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Please subscribe below to stay updated on new content at Invarian.